Bill and Janice, I love you with all of my heart. I so admire you and respect you. Janice, you're a mom to more children than any person I know on the face of this earth. You have raised up so many children in the inner city of Knoxville, plus your own children and your grandchildren. Um, I just want to share, as I've been here and we've been eating around the table, the girls that I have been with have shared their memories and they just kept saying, we don't know how they put up with us. We had no filter on our mouth. We chose bad things. We, they kept loving us. They kept coming back. They kept loving us. They kept coming back. And you have, it makes me tear up, you have left that legacy of love to so many children. Many are now adults and having children, teaching them about the love of God. I remember starting Green Hills together, Winterfest, Signal Mountain, so many things. But I just wanna say thank you with all of my heart and I love you both. Hi, Miss Dennis, how are you? Um, Let's see, a memory from the heart for me. I remember growing up, you know, every week racing, you know, all of my friends, racing just to, you know, hear you and Mr. Bill speak and tell us about God. And then I told myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to be a junior staff one day. And thanks to God, you know, I did that, um, you know, and it got me on the right path as you know, becoming an adult. And now, you know, I have two kids, I'm married. We go to Cokesbury um, United Methodist. And a funny story, my wife's dad, he's actually the pastor at one of the churches we used to meet as a youth group. And I thought that was pretty cool. Hi, Mr. Bill. Hi, Miss Janice. I have this rose here. I want this to represent me physically mentally and spiritually as well, giving you both your flowers while you can smell them, of course, because that is the goal. But the thing is, I want to say thank you for the impact that you have had on my life since I was a nine-year-old little girl through ministry, through Kiko, through service, through connections and partnerships with other people. It has been an amazing journey. So I just want to say thank you um, for all my favorite memories. They're really too numerous to name. But of course, my favorite one is always summer camp, tug of war and scavenger hunts and Thursday night with the inflatables, gotta find you a day, all that sort of stuff. I mean, it was so much fun from Winterfest, conferences out of town, Sunday sidewalk, Sunday school every week, Wednesdays, um, Park West Bible study. I mean, I could go on and on. You guys have invited us into your homes previous times. like. You have showed us unconditional real love, and I feel like you guys have displayed what it means to be a disciple and be an ambassador of Christ through service and all the things that you have done for all the inner city kids. So basically, I am a product of Kiko. I grew up through the program. I am an OG, as they will say, as far as with the youth group, and it's just amazing to come back full circle. I even got to work as a employee for Kiko at one point and I was running about four sites as well so hey it was amazing I'm definitely a product of what it means to have kids come through your program and to grow up and to have these things still a part of their adult lives the things that we have learned as kids so I just want to say thank you to both of you from my heart to yours it has been an amazing journey it has been an amazing outcome, and I love to see the expansion and where Kiko is today. We would not be able to do anything if it wasn't for you guys and what you all sacrificed and what you all started so many years ago. So thank you so much. Here are your flowers. The impact that Miss Janice and Mr. Bill have had on me has been incredible over my childhood life. They have really taught me how to love uh, other people, and they taught me how to grow as a person on the inside, how to be spiritual on the inside, and how to have faith in God. Something that that wasn't going on back then when we was growing up. It was a lot of it was a lot of uh, badness where we came from. 
And so church is really all we had to pull us out of that badness. And so they taught us how to follow God and how to be the people that we are today. And they had such an impact on my life when I was growing up. I just want to say thank you to both of them for the incredible memories that we all had growing up. <laughs> um, some was good, some was bad, but we still made it. Like we, we all came together like we was one big happy family. And I think that's the most memorable part of all, you know, we all came together like we was just one big happy family and we had a great time doing the missionary trips and a great time going to camp, great time going to Six Flags. We had just great memories with them and they will forever be loved and I will forever love Miss Jennice and Mr. Bell for the impact that they had on me growing up as a child, teaching me how to follow God and how to stick to my faith in God. and how to have faith just in the world, period, itself, and not losing faith and not losing hope and trust and not giving up on my dreams or not giving up, period, on what I want, teaching me how to follow the right directions and not go towards the wrong directions. They have had a great impact on me growing up as a child and I will forever be appreciated for that. And that's all I had to say. <laughs> I just want to say, growing up, Miss Janice and Mr. Bell has always been an inspiration to me. From the first day I met Miss Janice, she was more like a mom, a mentor, a guardian, and a leadership to me. And being in Christenberry Heights, where we first met, doing Sidewalk Sunday School, um, I was always, always there. One of the one, one, one of the many, many ones. Always win a quiet sea prize every single time, and it blows my mind that you know all the mentoring and leadership that I have done with those little kids at the Boys and Girls Club. I have changed so many lives and she's changed my life. And so has Mr. Bill. From all the field trips we went to, all the camp we had went to, Winterfest, Saturday Night of Lives, all the, uh, dinner, um, all the dinner banquets we had to go to. Um, just overall, even going to camp. And I just want to say thank you all so much for impacting me and my daughter's life because I have two girls of my own who are 13 and 8. And um, they've, you know, like I said, being a mom, a single parent and trying to do everything you can, it's not easy. But when you have love and support from the ones that, you know, has been there to inspire you to always live, God, live your life and always trust God no matter what happens. And I just want to say thank y'all so much for all your love and support for me and my family. Um, hi, Miss Janice. I would like to say thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being in my kids' life. You have brought so much joy to my kids. Thank you for being there for me when my son has passed away and I had came to you guys. Thank you for letting me be part of your life and thank you for letting me having a good time and then going on trips and talk, let, talking to you and I don't know what else to say <laughs> for being back on my kids. I just want to say I love you and I miss you. I enjoy talking to you. You have made my kids, especially my son Marcus um, and my son Marcus and Kelsey see see believing in God and letting them come to come to Sunday school every every Saturday so I would like to say thank you and I love you hi hi mr. Bill and miss Janice I love you so much Janice you have been so wonderful and so faithful all the years and I got to meet these kids through you it has meant a lot to me to get to go to Kiko and you have got you passed it on so many people are teaching and following now and to see these these kids and come with their children today has been so special to me i love you and i'll always remember everything that you've done it's been great thank you so much hey janice um it's jessica your daughter i did not expect to do a video at all i didn't know we were doing videos today i just came home in my comfy clothes because it's cold outside and I just had a baby seven weeks ago. Um, I just remember the first time I met you, you were in your Sunday truck, Sunday, Sunday school truck. 
and I came up to you to see what it was all about and you told me about Sunday school pretty much and to come and join and I had to go ask my dad and ever since then I was attending faithfully every Thursday and then you became like a mom to me um, and then ever since then I called you mom and you let me call you mom and that was something I've always appreciated and loved about you. Um, you were just so sweet and thoughtful and caring. You had all the traits a mother should have. And because of that, like I learned to forgive my own mother and even my own dad, even, even though he did raise me. But um, he had some traits where it was like, he wasn't the best parent, but he did try his best. And I forgave both of my parents for that because of you. Um, and today, I, you're still a mom to me, and I will still call you mom. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is just, just being on the spot like this, it's like, whoa, I don't know what to say. But I, I do appreciate you, and I will always love you with my whole heart. And I will see you soon before Christmas for Starbucks. I love you, Jadis. You too, Bill. Um, well, man, when we first actually moved to Tennessee, we were homeless for a while. And then when we finally did get into um, Western Heights, we the day we moved in, Kiko was, you guys were on our yard. and. Um, from that day forward, like me and my brother Shane were just in it. And um, because of you all, because of all the memories shared and all the, mm, I can't, I can't say enough about it. I don't know, I'm struggling, sorry. <laughs> Not good at this kind of thing, but man, I just, without, without Kiko, I could be in a very bad place right now. I mean, you all took me from something that wasn't good and could have been my life, but it's not. And I have a, a wonderful family and kids and um, live in what I was thought that I knew back then that I was called to do that I didn't think would ever happen. I mean, I'm a teacher and that's, that's literally been my dream forever. And without Kiko, none of it, none of it would have been possible. I mean, without Bill and Janice and Alicia and everybody involved, um, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't love Jesus. My kids wouldn't be saved. I don't know that I would have kids. I mean, I wouldn't have my husband that I have that, I mean, long time. <laughs> just, I don't know, I can't say enough good things about Kiko and where it's brought me from because without it, I know that I wouldn't be where I am, so. Hi, Miss Janice and Mr. Real. I just wanted to stop in really quick and let you all know how you all have helped us and helped everyone life. Growing up uh, made a big impact on everyone. Um, from Sunday school to Christmas to camps to Thanksgiving. Nothing you all did have never went unnoticed to us. Um, you always been like family to us. We love you so much and happy holidays from me and my family.